as an engineer, it's not just enough if you have the engineering knowledge. You need to have some real people skills. And what these people skills are, because you're going to work in a working environment with people. So the first and foremost skill you need to have is communication. Communication is equivalent to life. If you don't communicate well, you can't express yourselves well to the community. So there are two parts to communication. One is conveying the message. The other is effective listening. Both are very important. Number two, you need to be very strong with your technical skills, which means your knowledge, which you have acquired during the engineering should be evident in your work. So your technical skills is the uh, very important skill which you need to have as a second point. Number three, problem solving. It's very important for you to solve problems because every day you are likely to face some problems, technical or non-technical. So if you have a good problem solving skills, your chances of getting an opportunity is very high. Number four, creativity and innovation. You must be seeing that there is tremendous automation happening all over the place. Robots are re replacing humans in mundane work. In fact, the Mercedes-Benz factory is entirely run, run by robots, just manned by eight people across the factory, which means if you are not creative and innovative in your approach, you are likely to be replaced by a robot. So please develop your creativity and innovation skills. Number five, you have to be a team player because you'll be working in a team. So your collaborative skills, how well you work with people, understand their needs and also full work closely with them is very important skill which you need to develop. Number six, are you a true leader? Because you need to display leadership skills if you have to lead projects. Because in a project, you'll have a lot of people working with you who may follow you and you need to lead them to complete success of the project. So your leadership skills is very important. Now, whatever we do, we may fail. We are likely to fail. Many people for just for the fear of failure, they don't even attempt. So the next skill is, doesn't matter if you fail, it's important that you learn from the failure and show the resilience to come back and try again. So resilience skills is the next, next skill which you require, where even after a failure, if you fall down, doesn't matter, you need to get up and try again till you succeed. So the resilience is very important. Next, interpersonal skills. Naturally, we are going to work with people. So that there is a certain way of dealing with people. You need to be polite. You need to know what, how people respond to your communication. So you need to display a very good interpersonal skills for, for them to work with you that indirectly also reflects the attitude you have. So interpersonal skills is the next important skill you need to nurture. Next skill is critical reasoning. Okay, how good are you in your independent thinking? Are you good with working with data? Are you able to interpret data in the right way? So this data orientation and reasoning is a part of the critical thinking uh, skills which is required for an uh, engineering student. So the last skill is the presentation skill. You may be the best. You may have all the solutions for a problem, but if you cannot present it in the proper way which the other person is able to understand, then you fail to represent to yourself. So presentation skills is another important skill, which is again a part of communication skills, but presentation in specific, because you have 
a lot many tools today which will allow you to present any concept or project very well and so developing your presentation skills is very very important as an engineer so to sum up you have to have communication skills and strong technical skills problem solving skills creativity and innovation then working with teams leadership skills you need to have resilience you need to have interpersonal skills you need to have critical thinking and you need to have presentation skills all these 10 skills will make you a better person to have in any company thank you